Hello everyone. Now we are again here to learn control and coordination with the next part. And this next part is the endocrine system. That is the coordination without nerves. In the last videos we did the nervous system that is the central nervous system brain spinal cord and how the control and coordination of an organism with the environment with the help of nerves as i told you earlier also that in control and coordination two systems work together one is the nervous system that is a controlling system and another is the endocrine system an endocrine system actually what is it it is a system that consists of endocrine glands and hormones and hormones are very important chemical messengers they are the chemical messengers actually they chemical messengers which control many functions rather all the functions of the human body like reproduction growth many metabolic activities also so they are secreted by endocrine glands Now to understand the endocrine glands, we must know the difference between endocrine glands and exocrine glands. Now let us start with endocrine glands. These endocrine glands are ductless glands, and kindly keep noting the key words. They are the ductless glands, and the exocrine glands are the glands with ducts. Now what are these ducts? Ducts are the small, very small, minute pipe-like structures which these glands help in pouring their secretions, right? And I'll just come to this as an example. This is a gland we did it in the digestive system, that is in the nutrition pancreas, which is located just below the stomach, right? So this pancreas, when it secretes its pancreatic juice, then it uses this duct and it is poured in the part of the small intestine you remember that duodenum and liver also secretes a secretion that is bile juice in this and with a combined duct called hepatopancreatic duct so these two glands here needs this duct to pour their secretions so liver and pancreas both are exocrine glands because they are using the ducts second point is these endocrine glands are non localized and these exocrine glands are localized this is also the keyword what does it mean localized and non localized localized means these glands are present or located where their secretions are required for example the pancreas its pancreatic juice and liver its bile juice it is required in the duodenum that is a part of the small intestine so they are present just near this organ but endocrine glands are non localized it is not necessary that where they are present their secretions are required there and then only they give pour their secretions that is they pour their secretions as hormones in directly into the blood stream they don't need any ducts so they are non localized is it clear so here i would like to tell you one thing that this pancreas here i am explaining it as an exocrine gland but this pancreas also behaves as an endocrine gland how this pancreas secretes a hormone called insulin this is a hormone so pancreas secretes two things hormone insulin and a juice called pancreatic juice into the duodenum but this insulin is directly poured into the blood stream without using any duct so at that time this pancreas behaves as an endocrine gland so pancreas is also known as a dual gland we will be discussing it later on but here i don't mean to say that every gland behaves as a dual gland here only pancreas behaves as a dual gland as i told you in the later part we will be discussing this dual glands or the heterocrine glands but liver liver is only acting as an exocrine gland because it is using its duct that is a hepatic duct to pour its bile juice it's only an exocrine gland is it clear now what are hormones how they behave and what are their function now see what are hormones as i told you they are the chemical messengers they are the chemical messengers 
and they are secreted by endocrine glands. What is their now? What is their role? First of all, they are poured directly into the blood, directly into the bloodstream. And what are their functions? They are very vital. They control many metabolic activities. And one example we'll see that is the hormone insulin. Insulin is a hormone secreted by pancreas without the duct and function of insulin is to control the blood glucose level blood glucose level or in other words we can say the level of glucose in the blood it is controlled by the hormone insulin and there's another hormone secreted by the pancreas that is the glucagon and both are antagonistic to each other insulin controls the glucose level and glucagon just functions opposite to it so insulin is a hormone so what are hormones they are the chemical messengers which control the various metabolic activities in the body and another important part of this hormone in important feature is that they are secreted at the point where they are not required but wherever they are required they are transported with the help of blood stream right